What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's mama love. <laughs> uh, and so you see me dressed like this because I left the gym. I went and worked out. But after um, I got done working out, you see me represent Detroit. What's up? Anyway, my hair look a mess. That's why I have, have my hat on. But anyway, like I said, I just came back from working out. But after uh, I had got done working out, I stopped off at Walmart because I finally decided to do my chicken and chili. I, I bought, instead of just regular uh, kidney beans, I bought the 15 bean soup because I feel like a lot of beans give it more different types of flavor. You know what I'm saying? So I'm starting this in my crock pot tonight. I got ground chicken. Starting these tonight. Step. These gonna be done when I come downstairs in the morning in my crock pot. Love it when they slow cookers. Um, and then I'm gonna grind them. Uh, I mean, fry up my. This is my ground chicken. You can see ground chicken. And I got my uh, petite diced uh, hatch green chilies. Got two cans of that. These are my oyster crackers. But anyway, you guys, I got a. Uh, it's called chili white chicken. I got two packs of that. Um, and I got also the regular packs of a uh, chili. And um, so I'm gonna add that. And inside of that, I'm gonna cut up actually my red onion, make it a little more spicy. And, uh, and I got my Spanish rice that I'm gonna add to it. It's not gonna be uh, like a dish casserole, but it's gonna be uh, you know, like soupy, like a chili at the same time. So somewhere in between. And I got on top my Kobe Jack Monterey Jack cheese. And so that's the one for tomorrow. So stay tuned. Hey y'all. Uh, all right, y'all. It's the next morning. And uh, I should say afternoon, close to maybe evening, because I had a late start. But I wanted to show you all uh, my beans I had in the crock pot overnight. There they are, nice and ready and done for me. And I am going to convert this plain pot of beans into my chicken and chili. Starting off, I'm gonna fry up my chicken. And as I'm fitting to fry it, you're gonna see me adding to it my Lori seasoning salt. Yes, you know, gotta have my, sorry, my garlic powder. Love my garlic. Hold on, y'all. Grab the wrong onion powder. It's not even open yet. Oh, there's my onion powder. You know I love cooking with that. I got paprika. Paprika. And I'm using chili powder. Now I never fried, I never had ground chicken before. Ground turkey, of course, but never uh, ground chicken. Let's put a little light oil in here, you all. A little light oil I had put in it because I don't know how it's going to, you know, fry dry or anything like that. So yeah. And you'll see this when it's nice and done. Okay, you all, so <clears throat> as my uh, chicken is frying, you know, this is my first time making this recipe. I'm kind of adding my own, you know, to it, my own ingredients. I added my, my chopped onions. I chopped onions over there. I added chopped onions in it, and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. I added my chopped onions, and I think also what I'm going to do since I bought two packets of it, I'm going to go ahead and add a little sea chicken. It's called chili with white chicken seasoning onto the chicken. And I'm going to add just one can of the um, diced green little chilies. And I'm adding that because I'm going to add the other half of that ingredients to that uh, pot of beans. And the reason why I added it all because I wanted to have it seasoned. I just don't want to, you know, fry up the chicken and put it over in the pot and wait for the, you know, seasonings to catch on to that chicken. I want it to already, those uh, onions are ready to be cooked soft 
and uh, the tomatoes, uh, whatever they're, you know, chill, little chilies to be cooked soft and the seasoning already in the chicken so it don't take long to grab the flavor once it added to the beans. So that's what I did and that's what I'm doing. So this is what I did and this is how it looked. So I added the packet, as you can see, the chicken white chili mix along with the diced tomatoes in it and onions and I'm gonna let that cook through and simmer coming along real good y'all also over here you can see the beans where I added the chili powder um the white chili I have the same uh I got regular chili mix and I have regular I mean not regular but uh then I added the chicken chili uh seasoning so that's how that's looking, which is looking so delicious right about now. Oh my God, that is going to be so great when that's added to it. Only thing that I'm, I'm adding to that next. I was going to add a Spanish rice to it. Like I said, though, I don't want it to turn into like a casserole. I want it to be like, you know, soupy, like chili. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I bought uh, two of them little packages of Spanish rice. Uh, I bought two of them. Um, and I was going to, uh, put both of them in there, but I'm going to try one for now and, uh, and see how it works. Because like I said, I don't want it to be casserole. I want it to be like a soupy chili. And then I had bought the oyster crackers to go with it, as y'all can see. And I'm just going to like, when I'm done, everybody don't like, uh, cheese. Well, everybody does like cheese in this house. So I guess I could add it to it. I bought some, um. Kobe Jack cheese. That's Tina. And uh, I'm going to, uh, this thing all up in my face. I'm going to um, add that to it as well. So it's going to be, um, you know, the chili, be the beans and chili mixed with the uh, the chicken and, and the chicken chili seasoning. And um, what's going to be added to it is the uh, Spanish rice and the cheese, which should set it off the top, y'all. It, it should set it off, so. And like I said, this is my first time uh, making this recipe. It was in my head because I was like, oh, man, I really don't want to go back to beef. I'm not really too crazy about ground turkey. I'm only really liking the turkey on Thanksgiving Day. So I thought about, wow, ground chicken. And so I'm sure it's not just my idea of having ground chicken inside your chili, but they wouldn't have the seasoning packets for it if it was. So, But I just wanted to go ahead and try it and add my own ingredients to it, you know like with the uh 15 bean soup um i like the 15 beans because it to me it sets off different flavors whether this rather than just your regular bag of you know kidney beans add some little character to it you know so that's what i was trying to do i just wanted to tell y'all that i'm real happy i'm real blessed yeah i'm happy y'all i'm happy God is a God of peace. He's a God of love. And um, I just want to say that sometimes everybody can't put their hands in the pot. Gotta let, let it, whoever prepared that pot and whoever involved inside of that pot let them stir and fix that. Everybody hands can't be in the pot. So what I'm trying to say is when you step back and let God do it, God will fix it every time. And so that's why we shouldn't say things and have a lot of input on things because, you know, um, family is family. And I thank God for peace. I thank God for a different approach. I thank God for mending. I thank God for um, unity. Any and everything that God is involved in, it always turns out great. And uh, I'm just thankful and I'm gonna let that be that. Now y'all take and do whatever y'all want with that. Put what you want with it. With. Just know there's a big smile on my face and I am very happy. I am very happy and I am very pleased. Okay, 
All right, so here's the Spanish rice. See, just a little package, y'all. I don't want it, uh, let's tear this open. Matter of fact, I should have had this open. No, I got it. So I'm gonna take and um, have this rice already made. I want it to be, see that? Not that much rice. I, I, I want it that, see how, that's the, that's the texture I, I want it. I don't want it all uh, like a, a big uh, casserole. I want it to be thick. And of course, I'm gonna add a, a cup of water to this so it doesn't do that. And that's gonna be so good when I'll add over that chicken and seasoning with the cheese looking all pretty over here. Look at that. See, that's already grabbing that flavor. So that's not gonna take long to grasp over in the pot that I have. And just a little quick recipe, y'all. You know, a little sun sign. Yeah, I know. What out of. And I'm gonna take and combine this into that. Anyways, I can't really show from this angle, but just to look good. Mm. Yeah, I can see myself coming down and every morning I tell myself I ain't where I want to be, but I ain't where I used to be. Thank you, praise God for that. Um, thank you for your support, y'all. My love bugs and love muffins. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for encouraging me so much. Thank you for telling me my do's and don'ts. Mama love, don't eat that. Mama love, you can have this. Mama love, try that. Mama love, don't say that no more. Mama love, stop explaining us. <laughs> I just love y'all so much. I just wanted to tell y'all I really appreciate y'all and I thank you all. I had a chance to answer some emails. I didn't get to answer them right away because I was so busy and I'm tied up in my day never to ignore anyone. But if you haven't looked at some of you all, your emails, I did reply back. Uh, well, not my own input, but what God put on my heart to say. And uh, I haven't, I also left the email with one that uh, needed to be talked to. Um, I did leave a, uh, and said that I would call you back. Um, I started to call you, but when I did uh, reach out to call you, uh, y'all got to admit, sometimes my days and nights be turned around and everything. And I was gonna dial your number and it was 2.41 in the morning. I said, I don't think, yeah, I don't think so. I don't know what I was thinking, but before this day is out, um, I'll be calling you. About the time you see this video, I probably already talked to you, so. Okay, so I'm adding my, put my, took my chicken from the skillet, which was easier for me to do it this way, but I'm going ahead and I'm adding this to my pot of chili, which now makes it, Chicken chili, yay! And of course, oh look how that is y'all. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells so good. And when I add the Kobe cheese to this, oh my my. Um, it's full to the top. I do wanna add, um, see that? I'm gonna add maybe, let's try this. We used to use <laughs> measure, okay. I'm gonna add just that, just one can of water to that because it's right where I want it to. It's thick, but yet it's not like a casserole. It's like a thick soup, y'all. And oh my God, I can't wait to taste the flavors that are over in here. But you know, I got onion powder, I use garlic powder, I use chili powder, I use Lori seasoning salt, and then also I use the chili white chicken seasoning and I use the regular chili season mix. And uh, that's that. And um, when I add the cheese to it, oh my my. All right, y'all, so here we are. We back at the final end of it. And I am ending my video as always with my taste testers. <sighs> my crazy son, don't want it on him. And here's how it looks. All right, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Let's well, put the little uh, cheese in and the oyster crackers. That's good. I know what the bomb.com. Yeah. And I'm going to, uh, you know, take a bowl to question mark. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. 
Um, hope I was uh, thorough with everything, explaining everything, y'all. Just want y'all to know I had some. It is awesome. Um, for you that's on a uh, diet regimen, y'all can have as much as y'all want. Um, it's good because it's chicken, ground chicken. And I got the 16 beans up in there, you know what I'm saying? And the only reason why Tina wasn't in the third chair, because Tina took it upon herself to make her bowl. And uh, yeah, she got in the pot before uh, you know it was ready. So I just hope y'all enjoyed this video though. Peace out in Jesus' name.